So in our last video, we walked through how to set up application insights for a .NET Core app with Visual Studio. In this video, we're going to walk through the same process, but with VS Code. So let's say you're developing on a Mac, you're on Linux, or you just don't like using Visual Studio. This is how you can get set up with your .NET Core app and with application insights monitoring. So first we're going to launch VS Code. We will create a new sample app just to be able to use. So we'll do a .NET new, we'll say web app, and then dash O, and then ASP.NET core app. So we have created our app. We're now going to confirm that the cert is set up correctly. I believe I've already set this up for it to be able to deal with the certs, but we'll confirm really quick. Yep, we are all set. So if we look now in our directory here, we have our new directory that was created, and so we can cd into that. And then we can do a .NET run to run our app, but with a space there. And so our app is now running um, for HTTPS. It's on port 5001. We can quick check that. So our app is running. We can see those requests going by. Perfect. So I just did control C to stop my app and you can see it says application is shutting down. So the first thing we need to do uh, to this application is we're going to go and add in the AppInsights.NET NuGet package. So to do that, we can go and I'm going to cheat a little bit and just copy this over to save me from typing, but .NET add package, this is the package and this is the particular version that we want. Now that we have that, we can go and open up our app here. If we check the ASP .NET Core app CS proj file, we should see a reference which we do to our application insights, ASP.NET Core, which is exactly what we want to see. So the first thing we need to do at this point now is we need to get an instrumentation key because we have to add that to our app settings.json file. So to do that, we're going to go to Chrome and we'll go to the portal. And what we're gonna do is create a new application insights resource. So I already have application insights saved right here, but you could also go here and type application insights and you should see it come through. And then we're going to do add. And we're going to name this .NET Core Video Demo. And the selection you make here is really not that important. Um, we could select ASP.NET, we could select general, but even if we selected Java, this is technically going to work. Basically, the only thing this can impact is certain default charts that you'd see in the future. They may change that a little bit, but for now, I'm going to select ASP.NET, even though technically this is .NET Core, it's still fine. My existing Visual Studio subscription, I'm going to create a new resource group that's identical, and I'll leave it with the default of Cell Central US. Now that we've got that deploying, once that's deployed, we'll be able to go and grab the instrumentation key from there. So our resource deployed successfully, we'll say go to resource, and we're going to copy this instrumentation key here because we're going to need it. So what we will do here is we need to go and add an entry for application insights and then a colon and then a curly brace and then we will add an entry for instrumentation key all one word and we will paste in that instrumentation key and we will put it in quotes to make it a string and then we need to add a comma here just so that logging is not broken by our change and we can control S to save that. So now that we've added our instrumentation key to the app settings JSON, we need to make a modification in the startup.cs file. So we'll go to startup.cs and we're going to go right here in the configure services method 
and we need to do our own services dot add and in this case it's going to be add application insights telemetry method like that and we'll do a control s and then we're going to go and run and so run build task and build and our build has succeeded and we'll press any key and we'll say dot net run again and so there's our address we will check on that address here by going back and forth so we've sent some test transactions and what we can do is if we go over to live metric stream here we can find out if we are in fact sending data so if we click back and forth and we'll put this uh, to the side so we can see that data is coming through and we've successfully set up server-side telemetry on our .NET Core web app. What we haven't done though is, so this is going to allow data from the server-side, but we are still not setting, sending any client-side telemetry. We're not injecting any JavaScript into the browser, and so all this is giving us is server-side data. If you want to take that additional step more and add in client-side data, what you would do is the following. First thing, we'll stop our app from running quickly. So control C and you'll get application is shutting down in the terminal. Then what we need to do is look through here and we want to find this view import CSHTML. And we want to copy in our own little custom injection here inject Microsoft Application Insights ASP.NET Core JavaScript Snippet and we're going to call it JavaScript Snippet and then from here if we go into the shared directory and then open the layout uh, CSHTML what we want to do is paste in one more line and this is going to be we want to put this before the head tag here before the final head tag and technically, if there were scripts that were also running in the head tag that you wanted to be able to instrument, you would put it uh, directly before any script you want to instrument. If there's no scripts you want to instrument, you'd put it right before the end head tag. And we can do Control S to save. And then we're going to go and run a build task again. Say build. Our build was successful. And we can do a, well, not right there. We can't. Uh, we will type a key and then .NET run again and then jump back to our application as before and so we've now successfully set up server-side telemetry we've also set up the sending of client-side telemetry all in VS Code and hopefully this has helped you get started again all you needed was VS Code the only extension we have installed is the C Sharp for Visual Studio Code powered by OmniSharp, uh, which is free and you can download from Microsoft. And then the only other thing as well is that you need to have .NET Core. Uh, this is running .NET Core 2.2, uh, but you can download and use uh, 2.1, 2.2, 3.0, and this process should work pretty much the same. Good luck, and if you like this video, uh, please give it a like, and if you didn't like it or have any feedback or comments, uh, let me know with a comment on my blog. Thank you so much.